Hello, my friendly Fue Cocos. This is Ethan, aka Swan Dizzle, aka Ethan. Part 48. 48 of our Pokemon Violet playthrough. We got places to be. We got things to do. Um, the thing to do now, I believe, is do this grass challenge. And then we got, like, one or two other ones. And, like, we're nearly done, guys. Get hyped. Welcome to the Artesan Gym. Let me register you as a challenger. Your name is Swan Dizzle, aka Ethan, aka Swan Dizzle. Yes. Great. Now, in order to face Gym Leader Brassius, you first need to pass the gym test. Here at the Artisan Gym, that means completing a game of Sunflora. Hide and seek. That's what they sound like, right? As you may know, oh, yeah, okay, we did see, we did see a bunch of those Sunflora. So remember, these Pokemon look like sun-shaped flowers. Gather up to ten of them and bring them to the Sunflora lawn, and you pass the test. I'll register the Sunflora's lawn lo lawn's location in your map app to get you started. When you leave the gym, turn right, and you'll see two large Sunflora statues. Head for those once you're at the lawn's office. The law entrance. God, I cannot read. I, 48 episodes in, we're still here. Uh, the staffer there will tell you more about the gym test. Now get out there and have fun. Shall we? Hey, there's a real sun curtains. They're just vibing. That's so cute. Hello. Okay, we just had to say hi to those guys first. Anyway, uh, how you doing, guys? You having a good day? You having a good week? Are you uh, watching this when the video is hot and fresh? Right out the oven? Or uh, by chance are you checking it out uh, days to weeks to months after it has been uploaded? Let me know where, where you're at in life. How things are going. If you... Uh, you know, reached all your uh, goals, dreams, aspirations, f your floras. And just, yeah, let me know how things are going. So it sounds like the sun flora are ready for you. With that, our gym test has begun. Once you found 10 sun flora, please bring them back here to the sun flora lawn. That's all for me. Good luck out there. And have fun. Okay. Okay. I take it. We gotta find him out here. What up? I got one. Oh my god, they are, um... They're not hiding. Really. Ooh. Yeah, we can go fast. Okay, good. Hello? Another one. Oh, that's just a statue. An imposter. Hello. Another one. Any flower in the alleyway? Uh, ooh, hello. Another one. Great. Any on this side? Now, when when they're making noise, is that these ones following me, or is it the new ones that are still hiding? We have five. We need five more. Sun kerns, but not sun. F oh, there is a sun flora right here. Step right up, you sir. Oh, hello. Care to join the squad? Oh, that's uh, that's unfortunate. Okay, they'll figure it out. Oh, they did. They just clipped right through. Perfect. Okay, two more guys. Two more. Are we being like timed? I don't think so. That might make it more exciting, but could also make it ridiculously frustrating. <laughs> so I'll just I'll take what I can get. I won't complain. 
So this is it. Oh, what was that? I mean, oh. It was a TM of some sort. Pause the video. Let me know what it was, please. Are there any in the maze? Oh, yes, there is. Hello. Standing on a flower pot. Another one! There's gotta be more than ten. There must be more than ten. Too easy! Okay, let's bring it on back. Gather the troops! It's like Pikmin. Oh, come on. I guess that's where, uh, that's as far as we go. Whatever that says. We passed the gym test. Ladies and gentlemen, and everyone in between, we passed the grass gym test. Well done on finding all these sunflora. You passed the gym test with flying colors. Now please head back to the lobby at the Artazan gym to report your result. Yeah, but you you know what the result okay. They're just giving you as many opportunities uh, as you possibly can to change your team, heal up, do what you gotta do. And Flora, where they'll go. Night, night, shroomish. My poor Quaxley. Oh, he got a Quaxley. I've noticed. Has the treasure hunt started? Everybody's talking about that. We should probably get involved at some point. Uh, you've now earned the right to challenge the gym leader. Best of luck. Are you ready to challenge gym leader Brassius the Verdant Virtuoso? Sounds a little pompous. Uh, yes, let's do it. Mm. Anytime there's a loading screen, that is your reminder. Stay, stay hydrated. You know, Dosakis wants to uh, keep you thirsty, my friends. Well, my friends, I wish to keep you hydrated. Humph! Why are you up there? Why are you humphing? You did well to come this far. I am Brassius, the artist specializing in grass-type Pokemon. I am also the gym leader here at the Artazan Gym. I was observing your gym test from atop the windmill, you know. The perception you displayed in finding Sunflora was truly... Oh, how shall I say it? Yes, it was truly avant-garde. I only pray you might demonstrate that eye for beauty in our battle as well. Enough talk! We must begin creating our collaborative work of art. This guy is uh, a little extra. I trust that you are ready. It is time for our masterpiece to take shape. Okay. Let's go, bro. You got a pet little 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 It's like a Jojo. So artist creation and destruction struggle, else your defeat will nourish my Pokemon. Let's hit him with uh, our own little art called Torch Song. You done. You done, son. Next. Why are they booing? Or they're awing, I guess. Ooh, small of. Light it up, baby. Let's make an oil fire. Whoosh. Level 16? We did do this backwards. Oh yeah. Hone claws. 
Well, sure, why not? Yeah. Let's do it. Ah, so woo -doo. Sneaky. Bro, like, that was Generation 2. You're not, like, you're not that guy. We've been through this before. Where we, we know the trick. A truly woodoo. A truly woodoo. Okay. Oh. I don't know the trick. I'm dumb. Okay. Because it's not, a, it's a rock, but now he's making it a grass type. Which, to, that kind of just makes the trick null and void, doesn't it? Whatever. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna yuck this guy's yum. I'm not gonna harsh the vibe. I'm just gonna do my job and have a fire type beat a grass type. That didn't have to be a grass type. You chose this, good sir. Awesome. Magical Leaf. We're going to be learning all kinds of moves here. Yo, you still cheering? It's over. <laughs> Avant Guard. What artistic tactics you employ? The patterns of your moves, the minute, minute details of your Pokemon's performance. Everything you did was honed to perfection. Our battle was, in a word, art. Indeed, if we could not call that a work of art, artistry, then nothing else in this world could be labeled as such. If I were to judge your work, I would say it passes my inspection. Yes, a pass without exemption. As proof of your artistic prowess, you may... Have my gym badge. Shall we take a photo as well? Yeah, man. Bam. Got that grass badge. If you possess seven gym badges, it will be easier to catch Pokemon. If you, we do. Level 55. All right. And we got Trailblaze. User attack suddenly as if leaping out from a tall... Is this supposed to be like the grass quick attack? Kind of like, uh, there's a water one. Don't ask me what it's called. I don't remember. I, I know there's a water one. Cool. Oh, is that another Rika at your service? Who are you again? Are you Team Starfall team or are you champion probably champion uh, these gyms aren't really giving you much trouble are they rika rika huh you two haven't met have you this young man is swan dizzle he's so good with pokemon even the prima has taken an interest in him oh wow oh wow but i think that the pokemon on team poppy are really strong too like really strong which one of you is stronger do you think well um i'm what it oh it's a, like a prodigy oh, okay Wow. Get to show you my Pokemon soon, Mr. So hurry up and come to the Pokemon League where, uh, um, the pinnacle, where the pinnacle of Pokemon battling happens. See you there. Okay. Hey, wait up. Well, you keep up the good work. You heard the kid. She's waiting for you. Wait up, Poppy. Don't leave your pal Rika behind. Fantastic. Okay. Let's find... Our next gym, shall we? Unless someone's gonna interrupt us like pneumonia. Nope. All right. 48 episodes in, still, still got issues with this map. Right, we did all the Titans, we did all the Starfalls. Except for, like, the Cassiopeia and the final Titan. Yes. Amazing. What's this one? Yeah, and that's the Titan thing. 
So last is the Psychic Gym. And we have, okay, so first off, we're going to set that as the destination. We're gonna fly to Cortondo. We're gonna catch a wild Pokemon somewhere, some way, somehow. And that will be our surprise trade Pokemon of the episode. Not a surprise for me, I guess, but a surprise for Hoomst receives it. Okay, cool. Also, you know, 48 episodes in, there's still features that I don't really know about or like, I haven't actually done anything with. I heard that we can just join people's Terra battles. Terra raids. And I kind of want to try that out. Is that a Corsola or like a weird looking... I don't know. I'll try it. Or a PMQ? Where are you? Did the game freeze? Hello? Oh, it's communicating. I can't read. Very good. You see, see up, up there? It's communicating with someone or something. So just another reminder, stay hydrated. work on your communication skills ah, fudge let's join a random one if you join a random battle but then quit the battle before it's over you'll be blocked from joining random battles again for a time try your best to play in an environment with a strong and stable connection oh okay yeah sure I'm all ready to go, baby. <gasps> There's actually people that do this. Wow. This must be what it's like to, you know, play a game when it's still kind of relevant. Because by the time I was actually like, like, uh, deep, shall we say, deep into Pokemon Sword, like that was long gone. There was like. Nobody was doing any of the the battles or nothing. It was just all like NPC stuff. It's kind of like the Pokemon Go raids, I guess. Wait for the countdown. Oh, he's swapping out his Pokemon. Now he good. Come on, Red Lantern, you good? Red Lantern with your blue fish. Your blue sushi chef. Let's go, guys. Hype. The dragon squad and the not actually a dragon. Hopefully this will be easy. Yeah, okay, good. <laughs> exactly what we hoped for. Is that electric? Flying electric, I like that. That's pretty cool. <gasps> Catch him! Get him! Get him in the ball! Ooh. 
They make this stuff so hyped. Watch if it like didn't. It has to be like auto catch, right? It would be very annoying if it just broke free and like everybody else, like you're just done. And you're like, well, you can go home now. It's like, oh, okay. Do I get anything? No. <laughs> you get to try again. Sure. Number 365, Rufflet. Uh, yeah. I call you, uh, Zappy Boy is of your Terra typing. Zappy Boy. Now. Ba -ba. Surprise trade. Boop, boop. There we go. You bet I do. Perfect. Okay. While that's happening, we will carry on our merry way. That is so... Freaking awesome how fast that is. I love it. What was in there? Boisel. Ooh, Magikarp. Hopip. An Arcanine. Oh, um to toxic toxol. Whatever. Yeah, I hey. I'm impressed with myself, to be honest. I know my Pokemon. Yeah, buddy. We're going to get our False Swipe Cardboard Tube Arm Expert over here, Sprounder, to uh, gently rough him up a bit. Actually, no, wait. I'm going to punk everybody. Watch. Let's get this first try. Didn't even need it. Didn't even need it. Never mind. I'm an ass. Okay. That's nice to still see some new Pokemon. When we're like nearly done. Oh, good job, Nintendo and Pokemon Company and keeping a wonderful variety in the wonderful world of Pokemon. <gasps> oh, what? Seriously? Bruh. You're not that guy. You're not that guy. Okay. We'll give you the special treatment. Just this once. Thank you. Alright, number 198, Toxel the Baby Pokemon. Despite there being so many baby Pokemon, this one is the... Baby Pokemon. Electric and Poison type. This selfish, attention-seeking Pokemon stores po poison and electricity in two different sacks inside its body. More sacks! Well, I know what to call you. Boss Baby. Another one. Do we have an Arcanine? Hello? I didn't realize how tall this guy is. Wow. Oh, we don't. Let's try and cheese it. I perceive Arcanine to be somewhat fast. Yeah. 
Nice. That worked out swimmingly. Uh, it's okay. We can do moves later. Yeah, we could do that later. Number 214, Arcanine. Arcanine, the legendary Pokemon. Right, right. I, well, I was just pulling some Pokemon cards earlier. It is the legendary Pokemon. Is it a legendary Pokemon? No, no. It is the legendary Pokemon, fire type. Its magnificent bark conveys a sense of majesty. Anyone hearing it can't help but grovel before it. I'm going to call you a uh, tall boy because you're a tall boy. And maybe you would drink a tall boy atop this tall boy. And another one. Fantastic. <gasps> Sprigatito is evolving. Mamma mia. What are you? Sprigatito evolved into Florigato. Ah, mamma mia. Number two. Florigato, the cat grass Pokemon. Grass type. The hardness of Florigato's fur depends on the Pokemon's mood. When Florigato is prepared to battle, its fur becomes pointed and needle sharp. Do not mess with this cool cat. Honestly, I think it looks kind of cooler than the Meowscata, but... Mascara? Scara? Whatever. You got me. But c'est la vie. You know? Okay, we got Scyther. We got Meryl. We got Sai. And another Meryl. We got Misty Terrain. And inside, uh, Shroomish. Shroomish, yes. We... We'll not get that shroomish today. Maybe another time. Because for now, we are going to scale this rock face Breath of the Wild style, baby. With unlimited stamina. Ba -ba -da, da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba. Looks kind of goofy. I love it. Super fun. Also, my monitor loves to just shut itself off. That's cool. So if you're watching me play this, and you're like, bruh, why do you just keep stopping? That's it. Uh, sorry, quick be nimble. We're gonna mosey on out of here. Just wanted the snarl. Didn't want the... Brawl. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> Area six. Surely we must be getting close. I feel like we've been up here. No? This slope is awesome! This is an absolute paradise for us hikers. I love climbing up subtle to steep inclines of rock faces. And that's why I have a tumbleweed. Okay. Well, you know what the guy at the Pokemon Center says. Been having some nice battles, so we will continue our quest to have as many nice battles as we can. Nice. Wow, wow, we was a very nice. Perfect. Ro Rocchio? Rocchio? Rocchio. It's like I'm climbing into the sky. Okay. You do that. Oh, yeah, no, we got those. Uh... Did we catch a tox Toxtricity? I'm, I believe we battled them. And he was on my, like, main team. Nice. He was on my main team for Pokemon Sword. 
But we don't have one yet in Pokemon Violet, so let's get ya. Get you in there. Perfect. Easy as that. And I'll name you the the squeakwell to what I named you before. Number 199, Toxtricity, the punk Pokemon. Punk in his amped form. The jolts of electricity it launches by violently strumming the protrusions on its chest easily exceed 15,000 volts. Yikes. Uh, actually, no. Female, we're going to call you Coco because the last one I called was Crash. Sweet. And into the box you go and another one. Great. What's in between the schmoodle and the denende? I wonder. But we will catch them all, so we will only have to wonder temporarily. What is you over here? Is that a Gallade? I feel like if we don't have to evolve, this is a good time to get one. Yeah. Can we cheese it? Nope. We cannot. <gasps> you have false swipe too? Bro. Doesn't affect me. That don't phase me, bro. I guess now I can. Give him a taste of his own medicine. All swipe style. Actually, that's really lame. There's a battle of attrition here. Seriously? Okay. Now let's try again. Bro! My guy. Protect you from what? Getting caught? Yeah. Ultra Ball it is. We'll keep it going. I think he... Is he... Does he get dual type of like psychic and fighting? I can't remember. But we're about to find out because we got a Glade. Wants to learn U-turn. It's okay. We'll figure it out in post. Number 65, Gallade the Blade Pokemon. It is psychic and fighting. Awesome. Because it can sense what its foe is thinking, it attacks burst out first, fast, and fierce, baby! Woo! <laughs> I call you Champ. Because if you're first and fast and fierce. That's what it takes to be the champ. And another one. Oh, we don't even have Guard of War yet. Huh. Oh, that's cute. Look, it's like the, the surfing icon and the Clefairy Pokey doll. Uh, if you have a bug type in your party, helix fossil, flying type, I guess what, normal type? It's like a Tauros. That's supposed to be dragon or a snake. Maybe both, Dratini? I can't remember. I think that's like if you had Venusaur, but maybe it's like for all plant types. Rhyhorn, Rhydon, yeah. And also, that's like the statue at like all the gyms. And the surf again. Oh, that was cool. I like that. Gave me that little nostalgia hit. Ooh. Let's heal up, folks. And by that, we're really just, like, restoring PP for False Swipe. 
life in the pokey catching lane been having some nice battles it's got to be just one isn't it yeah yeah okay where are all seven of you i wonder but for now let's do our surprise trade to conclude today's episode goodbye zappy boy Sinisty! <gasps> or Polter Cup, or I don't know. Yeah, that's great. Thanks, Gabby. Number 237, Sinisty, the Black Tea Pokemon. Ghost type. This is the phony one. Oh, is it because he's chipped? Or so? There's supposed to be a bunch of different versions, right? You get like the perfect one. Sinisty gets into your body when you drink it, and then it steals your vitality from within. It also tastes awful, so probably don't drink it in the first place. And another one. Well, fantastic. Thanks so much for tuning in to today's episode, guys. Did you see the fence clip in? Rewind that for a sec. We have a psychic gym next up on our list and then we are like practically done then it's like elite four final titan final team starfall whatever the hell this treasure hunt thing is maybe we'll just do that on a stream after the fact but we are very close to completing our three main missions so make sure you give this video a like you subscribe so you can follow along for the rest of the adventure but besides that I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye. Hey, Ethan. You are the greatest Pokemon master in the world. <laughs>